routine work orders. Routine work orders are normally created by a planner from the maintenance workbench and are also created using a menu option. Material and resource planning is used at each status of the routine work order. To manually create a work order, navigate to EM Maintenance Responsibility, Work Orders, Work Orders. Here you can find and create. You will create. This function is available for those users with responsibilities and the rules that include function em underscore work order underscore details underscore mode. Otherwise, you can only view work orders and cannot update associated asset hierarchy, work order hierarchy, material, resource, operation, cost, collection plan, result, work request, and the attachment information. The header information displays general information about the asset number and the type of work required. The work order number is assigned, but you can update it. Enter asset number requiring maintenance, the asset group defaults. I will select the asset number. And this asset group which already assigned to this asset number. Select an asset activity. Only asset activity associated with this asset number are available, and this is an option. If this work order was previously created, you can add an asset activity, as long as the work order is at an unreleased or draft status, or an asset activity wasn't previously defined. If any task, material, or resource requirement exists, this must be deleted before adding an asset activity to an existing work order. After selecting an asset activity, the associated maintenance boom or material and maintenance resources associated with the activity attached to the work order. After an asset activity is saved to a work order, you can no longer change or delete it. Enter the class code to represent the charge expense accounts associated with the asset number. This default from the asset number, but you can update it. Status. Enter the status, unreleased, released, on hold, and draft. Certain transactions update this status automatically, including work order completion, what is the work order status? Draft infinite resource capacity scheduling of work orders at a draft status may take place. You cannot change labor or request material for work orders at this status. Released status after a work order is released, you can execute a work order. You can charge labor request material and the scheduling for this work order take place. Unreleased status, you can move an enterprise asset management work order in draft or released status to unreleased. Scheduling can take place for these work orders, but you cannot charge labor or request material. An unreleased work order cannot be changed to a draft status. Bending scheduling status. If the scheduler is enabled, the work order status changes to bending scheduling. If a status of released is chosen, after the scheduler process finishes running, the status changes back to released. Complete status for an EAM work order doesn't require any completed operations. 
when a work order is completed, you can still charge labor, you can uncomplete a work order. This transactions it to uh, release the status. Uncompletion is performed within the work order complete, uncomplete pages in maintenance super user responsibility. Complete no charges. For an EM work order doesn't require any completed operations, you cannot charge labor at this status. You cannot update associate set hierarchy, work order hierarchy, material, resource, operation, cost, collection plan, results, and attachment information. Closed, you cannot charge any accounts after an EM work order is closed. If our order was at released status at the time of closing it, you can unclose the work order to bring it back to a released status. If a work order was at complete status at the time of closing, you can unclose the work order to bring it back to a complete status. For all other status during work order closing, Unclosing the work order transitions it to an unreleased status. On hold status EM work orders at released and the unreleased status can be put on hold. You cannot charge labor or request material for a work order at this status. Cancel. You can cancel an EM work order at any status in its life cycle. You cannot update associate asset hierarchy, work order hierarchy, material, resource, operation, cost, collection plan results, work request, and attachment information. Once you selected the status, you can check box the bending check box value determines whether the work order has reached the status above or is still pending due to, due to the workflow. This value is set by the work order workflow approver process. If this child work order in a work order network and the parent child is populated in the relationship type field, the parent work order is populated in this Field. The relation type field indicates the type of relation associated within the work order. Valid relationships are parent child, end to start, cost, and follow up work. There are four types of work order relations parent child, end to start dependency, cost, and follow up work. In the scheduled date, enter the work orders scheduled start date if it is based on a forward schedule. The scheduling process using this date as a starting point to calculate the scheduled end date and the duration for allocated resources and the material. If the material or resources are not available by this date, the scheduling process moves the start date forward. Schedule compilation date for backward scheduling. This date indicates the requested end by date for the work. The scheduling process uses this date as a starting point to calculate the scheduled start date and the duration for allocated resources and the material. Actual Dates are entered at operation and work order compilation. Schedule dates are calculated by the EEM scheduler if you have Oracle production scheduling enabled. Within the main tab, the department value defaults from the selected asset number. You can change it also. Option A select planner, select the priority and select work order types. You can choose corrective, inventive, breakdown, I will choose correct. 
and shut down default from the activity. This helps the planners groups work orders that may require shutdowns so that they are planned together. If this firm checkbox is selected, planning and scheduling doesn't automatically adjust the schedule regardless of material or resource availability. If this box is selected, the end date is calculated based on the work order duration. The schedule will automatically calculate the duration based on the operations. Optionally, select the notification required checkbox. Optionally, also select the take out required checkbox to indicate that the area must be secured for operations required to execute this work order. Tags are generally printed and placed on an asset, warning the planet that it is shut down and should not be started. The planet checkbox is selected if the current work order was created from forecasted work orders. Optionally, select Enable Material Issue Request checkbox to enable EEM to manage material availability for the current work order. Material is physically available to a work order via the material request and verification process. This checkbox is selected by default if it is selected on the EEM parameters window. Material and failure, failure information, you can also enter the failure information and failure information region appears if the failure code required value is set to yes. Material shortage region enables you to view material availability. This region populates after you have saved the work order. Select the activity tab after that. To select alternate predefined boom and routing, optionally select activity type and activity cause to specify what situation caused this work to generate. For example, breakdown, normal wear, or settings. Also option selecting activity source to specify reasons that activities required execution. For example, warrantly, complaints, and so on. This value also defaults from the activity definition. Optionally, select the project tab, select a project and the task, and rebuild tab also if it's enabled, and select the request tab to display service and work request associated with this work order. You can add service or work request to a work order by selecting a service request or a request number. Only work request at an awaiting work order status and the maintenance type service request at an open status are available for association. Let's check this. There is any, there is no any service request here. You can check. We already created in the previous lectures. We already created this request. You can select it with a status awaiting work order. The work request status on work order. Approval history is only optional to view the work order's approval history. A work order might require approvals or notification at different stages of its life cycle. 
For example, organizations typically want an approval process in place before a work order is released. Go down. Optionally, also choose operations to prepare necessary operations. These operations default from the maintenance route associated with the current activity, but you can update and add to them. You can change the operations if no transaction have been recorded for the work order. You can choose operation, enter the sequence, department, descriptions, and also you can make dependencies. We will discuss about operations in next lecture. And the materials, also optionally choose materials to view or add items from the associated assets number item list. After that, you can select the enter the resources and also optionally choose relationship to manage work order scheduled and the asset route to view the asset route associated with the current work orders assets group after that you will saving after saving a work order you can optionally associate it and asset attachments from tools and copy asset attachment after saving a work order. See you in the next lectures to learn what is operations and materials for work orders.